Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be our Algebra 2 series and sequences unit lesson one sequences homework review part six. Yeah, there were six parts. <laughs> Let's make sure you catch the first five. So, uh, and again, if these videos are at all helpful, please give the video a like, appreciate it, and uh, subscribe if you have not done so already to be notified when new videos are added. Okay, uh, shout out to my, my little brother, Kevin. Uh, Kevin Young, he's uh, recovering. He's got a foot injury from uh, third degree burns. I hope he is healing and hope he is well. So make sure uh, heal and get better, Kevin. Number eight, a tiling pattern is created from a single square, then expanded as shown. If the number of squares in each pattern defines a sequence, then, then determine the number of squares in the seventh pattern. Explain how you arrived at your choice. Well, in this case, oh, and of course, can you write a recursive definition for the pattern? So first we want to figure out how many squares and then come up with a recursive definition. So in this case, the number of squares, the first one's one. So we know A1 is one. Now for this one, there's three by three, so there's nine. So A2 is nine. The next one has a five by five, so it's 25. So A3 equals 25. And the, the fourth one is, looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by 7. That's going to be 49. So the fourth term is 49. Now, you might recognize in this case that these are perfect squares. 1, 9, 25, 49. But they're kind of skipping. You know, they're skipping the even number of perfect squares like there's no two squared four squared six squared so we're going for one squared three squared five squared so really this is going to be one way to find it is going to be one squared three squared five squared this will be seven squared our fifth term will not be eight squared but instead nine squared our sixth term after that will be not 10 squared, but 11 squared. All right, because again, it's the odd number. The base is the odd number being squared every single time. So the next odd number. And so here, a seven, the seventh term, that's what we're looking for in the seventh, in, in the seventh pattern, that would be in this case, the next odd number is 13 squared. So the idea now is that, well, we should know, hopefully know in this case, if not, we use calculator, that 9 squared is 81. The sixth, in this case, the, the sixth pattern would give us 11 squared or 121. Our seventh pattern would be 169. So this is the answer for our first question. The seventh term would be 169 squares. Okay. So we write down, in this case, the seventh pattern. pattern would have 169 squares. Now I'll lower that a little bit so you guys can see that and all. Okay, so not in the way. Maybe even shrink it a little bit down there so you can see there. Okay, not so bad, hopefully. But we notice now, now there was a reason why I wrote everything out. I mean, not because I like writing, writing stuff out, but typing is terrible. But it does help us to see how we're moving from one number to another number to another number. And it looks like we're, we're not taking the previous number and squaring it. Instead, we're taking the previous base and then adding two to it and squaring it. You're saying, well, okay. Or, or in this case, you might, one might say, this, well, you know, and so here's here's the thing. You know, so now how do I use the previous term? Well, that's interesting in this case. Well, let's see how it changes though. All right, so maybe I'd be a little more creative in this case. Again, there's probably another way to do this. No, but we're looking for a recursive definition though. That's the key thing, recursive definition. So we're trying to take a look at the values. So uh, let's take a look here. We have one, nine, twenty-five. Uh, 49, 81, 121, 
and then 169. And of course, it continues on afterwards. Well, one way to see is that we can, we're adding 8. And then we're adding, it looks like 16. And then it looks like from 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 uh, 16, yeah, 16. And then then 49 minus 25, it looks like 24. Right? And then from 81 minus 49, it looks like we're adding, in this case, it uh, looks like 32. And then we're adding, in this case, from 181 to 121, it looks like we're adding, uh, well, it looks like 40. And then here we're adding, in this case, 48. So we see that we're taking the previous number and we're going to be adding, in this case, 8. But, you know, not just 8. It's going to be, you know, 8 more than the previous one. So we have seen previous problems where we add n and n changes. It just to adjust to the to the number of uh, adding part, we'll see that that way we can write down the following here, and this is the technique we have here. So a one is equal to one. That's totally okay. All right, and so we're gonna say a sub n equals the previous number a sub n minus one plus. Okay, now here's the thing for the first term, well, for the second term, we want to add 8, right? So maybe we'll say um, 4 times n. Let's try this out, 4 times n. Okay, uh, we'll see if it works out. If it doesn't work out, we'll make adjustments. Okay, I definitely don't want to add 8 every single time. All right, so here we see a2 is equal to 1 plus 4 times 2. Well, that's definitely okay. That's 9. But is a3 equals 9 plus 4 times 3? And that's going to be 12 plus 9, 21? No, that's no good. So that's no good for us. So we so let's strike that. Okay, so it can't be this one. But we definitely want to add by 8 every single time. Wait a minute. So we want to add by 8. So maybe... Instead of 4 times n, I want to use, in this case, a n equals the first number, a n minus 1, plus, in this case, 8 times n minus 1. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eight. Well, first off, it, it solves our problem of 8, so that helps out pr tremendously. So let's take a look. Does a2 equal to a1 plus 8 times 2 minus 1? That means you have 1 plus 8 times 1 is equal to 9. A3 equals to a2 plus 8 times 3 minus 1. That means you have a3 equals 9 plus 8 times 2, 16 plus 9 is 20. Oh, that looks like it's working out pretty nicely. And of course, a4 is equal to a3 plus 8 times 4 minus 1, and that's equal to 25 plus 8 times 3. 25 plus 24 is 49. This looks like the formula. So it looks like we're going to have as our answer recursive definition a1 and the recursion formula, a, a n minus 1 plus 8 times n minus 1. Now, is there another way to write this? Sure there is. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of playing around with the numbers and all. Okay? But we have to test and see the work out for all of them. All right? Now, of course, again, we want to write this in, in, a, in almost like a function notation-wise. And a1 equals 1. And a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 8 times n minus 1. So you, so you notice that it almost, this actually looks like it's matching up in some ways to what we're entering in, entering into both the, the term as well as, in this case, the 
the you know the function in this case. So so yeah, this would probably be working out to work out pretty well. I hope so at least. All right, and with that, this will be the end of part six of our Algebra two series and sequences unit lesson one Hogue review. And I uh, hope you guys hopefully found this helpful. Now, if you came up with other ways of approaching this and try them out, please put them in the comments or in, 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 the, in the comment section below. And if you have questions about how I chose so, you know, and I, I chose N minus one because I saw in this case, yeah, I want to multiply by eight, but I'm not going to be, you know, if I put an N, it will be eight much, eight too much. All right, so that was the thing. So I want to cut back on this case. So, and really multiply by eight by the, by the n minus one term so here the again will this work out hopefully it works out in this case so like for example the fifth term is the fourth term 49 times uh 49 times four, uh, five minus one times eight and that's going to be in this case um now that, that's going to be uh, 32 plus 49 or 81 so hopefully it works out as well too and you just try them out and, and test and see all right, if you have one, try them out and keep working at them and see if we get the same pattern. All right, thanks everybody for the, watching the video. Again, please leave a like and uh, you know, look forward to seeing you in the hopefully last video, question number nine. Take care and be safe.